Hello. With what's happening in the world at the moment and with all the restrictions that we've all got, it's nice to be outdoors in the open air, away from other people. And um, I often come out and film birds and wildlife and I thought it would be nice in this programme to show you some of the clips and, of birds and other wildlife that I've, that I've filmed over the last couple of years. This program's not really meant as a Turkish lesson, but I will be telling you the name of the birds in Turkish as well as English. So we'll start off with the bird which is most common in this area, and in fact, common all over the world, and that is the Marta, or Marta La. Marta in English, of course, is the seagull. These birds are the symbol of the coast, although they thrive inland just as well. Their intelligence makes them great scavengers, and they'll steal your lunch if you're not careful. Most of what I film, I film it in slow motion so that you can see what the bird is actually doing. Like this pigeon flying sideways. In Turkish, this is called a gvergin. So in the distance over there, you can see there's a couple of stilts, or what the Turks call uzumbajak, long legs. These are actually the black winged stilt. Generally, only the females have a black head, and the young birds are slightly brown. And it comes from a breed of the Avocet, actually, which I've never seen in this area, although I'm sure they are here. And the Avocet is, um, is a breed which they call in Turkish the Kuluç Gaga. Kuluç is sword, and Gaga is a beak, so it's a sword beak. A type of Avocet. And in comparison to its body, it really has got extremely long legs. Ya vujutu gure, onun bacaklara çok uzun. I love this area. This is Fetie near Chalish. Here, just to the side of me here is the what they call the Kuschenete, or what we would call the bird sanctuary. One of my favourite birds is the kingfisher, or what the Turks call the Yalachapkana. Of course there's lots of ducks like everywhere in the world. I always find them quite amusing. The Turks call them Erdek or Erdekler. And the term we use in English, water off a duck's back, really is true.
They come in hundreds of different shapes, sizes and colours and they are one of the most colourful birds. When people are feeding the ducks, they don't realise that they're also feeding quite a few other animals. In Turkish, this is a sıçan, or what we would call a rat. Rats can breed prolifically, as from birth they become sexually mature in five weeks. One pair of rats become a population of over a thousand in a year. good reason you shouldn't upset the ecosystem by killing snakes, one of their main predators. Another bird which is very common around this area, especially in the uh, Kush Geneti, the bird sanctuary, is the egret, and there's different types of egret as well, of course. Egret, or egrets, is bolak chul, or bolak chulla in Turkish. They spend most of their day fishing, ingeniously shaking the silt on the bottom to entice the fish with their feet. There are hundreds of birds I haven't filmed and that are not included in this film, but over the next couple of months, I might have a bit more free time to go and film some of them. Thanks for watching.